Hey guys, this is Joe with Safari Joe's Adventures. I got a great idea. Let's build something today. I've rolled out the old redneck round table. I got a place to work, so let's get started. I need a piece of three inch pipe. What I have down there is some ABS three inch sewer line. It's never been used. I can use that for this project. If you have an off grid property and rely on solar or generator power, or you just want some lighting that you don't have to pay for on a monthly basis, this may be a project you enjoy. I'm building these for my off-grid property in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. What I'm making is pathway lights or marker lights, something to mark a path from the front porch of my off-grid cabin and it will go out to my outhouse. That way if you got to get up in the middle of the night and head out to the outhouse you don't have to fumble around and find a flashlight, although you could, but the path to the outhouse will be marked with these lights. So I'm going to build a set of these things, show you how it's done. They're real simple and they're fairly inexpensive. So follow along with me and you may enjoy it and want to build a set yourself. Now I'll be using a piece of this 3 inch ABS sewer line pipe and I will be cutting them into one foot sections. We're going to make this one foot, 12 inches. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll get it close. You know, it's kind of hard to see a black mark on a black piece of pipe. Got my tape measure, grab me a hacksaw. I'll just put a scratch in it so I can see it. Then I can cut these out. Now these can be cut with either a hacksaw, a reciprocating saw. I've used table saws to cut plastic before, used the fence. They all work fine, you just have to have the right blade on there for it. The finer the tooth on the blade, the better job you'll do cutting on them. So let's go ahead and get these things cleaned up. Just in case you're wondering, you don't need power tools to do this job. Basic hand tools will do it just as well. It just takes a little longer. There you go. The next thing I want to do is make the legs these are going to stand on. I want those three and a half foot tall. So we'll go three foot six inches. Make sure that's right. Yep. It's all good. These legs aren't rocket science. Now if you're off either way a couple inches, it doesn't matter. You just don't want the light shining in your face. You want it about hip level. I want these lights to set just a little closer to the ground when I'm walking. I want to light the path. This is going to be the light fixture and I want to connect it to this leg that I can pound into the ground, but I don't want it touching it. So I'm going to cut me a five inch piece out of this so we got a little bit of separation on these. I'm going to be drilling two mounting holes inside this piece of ABS plastic. I just want them inset from these so I don't hit them. The screws I'm using for this are stainless steel metal roof screws with a washer. They are designed to use outside in the elements. You don't want to use a drywall screw. That's indoor use and they'll rust out in just a couple of years outside. We will start with a couple of pilot holes and then move on to a bigger drill bit. I have to get this screw and this quarter inch driver through that hole. So I've got a bigger bit on, we'll get that taken care of. Had to get a little bit bigger bit. Let's get them cleaned up a little bit. All 
All right, we got the holes cleaned up and that washer will fit through these just fine. Next thing we need to do is drill a hole all the way through there. There we go. The other thing we're going to do now is drill some holes in the side of this and they can be random, not a lot. I'm gonna drill some holes just from halfway here on down and that way it will show a little bit of light out the sides also. So it'll shine straight down and a little bit out the sides toward the path. I started in the middle of this with a smaller hole, put three sets of holes, small, medium, and large. Just a quick tip, the static electricity on these things won't let you just wipe these off with a cloth. They'll still be dirty and pieces of plastic stuck on them. You take them in and rinse them off real quick, the water will stop that static and every bit of this stuff will come right off. Everything's painted, so we're going to connect the fixtures to the post. Get a screw out of here, get that put in, and we'll get it started. Make sure it's straight, looks pretty good. And there we go, that's what it will look like. We have the light fixtures connected to the post. The only thing we got left to do is drop in the light. I bought two four packs of these solar three inch puck lights. Got them on Amazon and these just set right down in the top. You just flip on the switch back here. When it gets dark, the light turns on and put a little bit of silicone on a couple of sides of this to hold it in place. But I'm not doing that till I take them up to my cabin. I just wanted to show you how they work. As soon as it gets dark, we'll test them out. And there you go. You've got a set of solar pathway marker lights. Sun's gone down, they've turned on. And you can see how well they light up the area. You can see the light they throw down to the path so it's not in your eyes. Yet you can see around this whole area pretty well. That's kind of the reason I painted the stakes white. They kind of reflect the light, make it easier to see when you walk through here. This will be perfect for going from the front porch of our cabin around and out to the outhouse. And there you go. That's how you can build a set of inexpensive solar pathway marker lights. As far as cost, I bought two boxes, four in each box, of these three inch solar puck lights. They're about $9 a box. A 10 foot stick of this three inch ABS is about $20. If you wanna go with the white PVC, it's about $10 more. I'd like to thank all the subscribers to my channel. I've been doing this for about three years. The last couple of years, I've hit it a little harder than I did before, but I finally reached that 1,000 mark. You know, it's a little humbling. It's kind of hard to believe that there's a thousand people out there that would subscribe to a channel and watch the things that I'm doing, but I really appreciate it. There's a few projects I have that I'm gonna be doing here at home this winter, so I can take it up to my cabin in the spring when I go up there to finish the interior, and I'll be sharing those with you also. Who knows, maybe I'm gonna do something you may like and wanna do for yourself. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out with me. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, check out some of my other videos. If you like them, consider liking them, subscribing to my channel and following along with me. And as always, make your life an adventure and God bless.